Hello everybody, this is the Peace Security as usual, and today we'll be taking, uh, we'll be doing a test on Immunet uh, free antivirus. Now you can look at their site here, immunet.com, it's powered by Clam AV Signatures, I think. And as you can see, they've got this free antivirus, and I also think they have an Immunet Plus, which is another product. There you go got another paid product now this is the free one you can just download it it's pretty small and use it now uh, the main thing about this is this is not exactly a full antivirus on its own it is designed to work with other antivirus software to add another layer of protection and it's pretty compatible with any antivirus and as you can see it's pretty fast these are the features it has and this is the major thing that it's compatible with your existing antivirus and I know a lot of people who just like to add use a lot of antivirus software you can use this if you want and it's a pretty small install and it's got cloud based definitions so you don't have to update it all the time so I'm basically just going to download it this is their installer. It's a web installer. And this is how it's going to download. It's now going to download the full installer and then install the stuff. So I'll be back when this download is done. Okay, so it downloaded the files and you get two options here to use their free cloud antivirus or use their plus trial version now this one comes with signature so it's got some offline protection some rootkit removal features and you can scan your emails and also it has some complex threat detection which I don't know what it is but we'll just hit free and it only requires 29 megs to install so it's pretty small so we'll just install it and I also grabbed a pretty old version of ESET Smart Security just to show you guys that Immunet is completely compatible with other antivirus solutions. Now, that's a pretty old version and I didn't update it. As you can see, the databases are from 2007. So it's not going to detect anything, but this is just to show you that it's compatible with an antivirus software. Okay. The installs done pretty fast installer so we've got an antivirus and immunet running on system with no problems and this is their interface as you can see uh, the signatures are from clam AV and it's got kind of a little bit more advertisement than you would want and it's kind of telling me what kind of memory and CPU usage I have well the interface uh, I don't like it it kind of looks pretty old but this is always a matter of choice and I don't want to make any comments on this but it kind of looks pretty old kind of interface I'd like them to make this look a little better maybe something like uh, maybe something like this looks a lot, lot more modern than this immunet interface so let's wait for the updates to finish pretty fast basically a cloud security suite so it doesn't depend on updates a lot it's based on cloud protection so we'll see how it does and first let's just check out the memory usage since it's not a full antivirus software it's just an add-on program so you'd expect it to be pretty light now where's their process there you go So that's one process and I think they have one more okay there you go 
So together they're using up about 23 mix, which is kind of heavy for something like this. For an antivirus it would be pretty light, but it's not a lone antivirus, remember, uh, you can also use it with different software. So it should be about 10 mix, it's 20, it's not too heavy, that's okay. So we'll just get started on our links. Today we'll just be doing the prevention test. So we'll try some links from malware blacklist and we'll see if Immunet succeed, succeeds in blocking them. Now you can say that why I didn't get a proper antivirus solution. The reason is if I get a good antivirus we won't be able to know how well Immunet actually does because a good antivirus will basically block everything. So I installed this outdated version of VZ. Another reason is he said it's pretty fast and it won't affect performance much. Looks like a lot of links are dead today. So these are all from the same domain so they'll probably be dead. So I'll try out something else. Okay, looks like, okay, finally, this is a Java file. So we'll run this. And it was not blocked by Immunet. So. This one's probably some black hole exploit or maybe a backdoor. This is probably another backdoor. I don't get anything from Immunet. Neither do I get any files. Now let's see if we can get something else here. I'll be right back in a second. Okay, let's try some stuff from CleanMX. And let's see if Immunet blocks these. That's the first threat. Let's try the second one. So, looks like both of these were able to run without any problems. And these are all big pieces of malware and it's pretty clear because they've got really high detection rates. So far I didn't get anything from Immunet. Now this is a low detection malware. Well, as you can see, I'm running so many pieces of malware and not a single one has been caught by Immunet yet. Now, I don't know if it takes time to analyze the process in the cloud, but it's certainly not doing a good job right now. A lot of the links that I tried were high detection malware and Immunet didn't get even one of those. So it's not looking really great for Immunet.
Let's take a look here. We'll just open up kill switch to see what is running in memory. System's pretty badly infected right now. I think we've got about seven or eight stuff running in memory. There you go, you can see that it's not responding. And let's see if we can open up Task Manager and see if what is running. Because I don't think we'll be able to open Kill Switch. Okay, so my system's totally frozen. I can't even get the control alt del screen to you come up, so it's badly infected. And I think that's kind of gives you an idea of what kind of protection you'll get from Immunet. Yeah, you can have it for fun if you want, just to have two antiviruses, but I don't see much point in using the software. It just let everything that I tried straight through. Uh, and a lot of those were pretty high detection malware caught by a lot of engines. And if it couldn't get those, I doubt if it's going to give you any extra protection than your antivirus. Because your antivirus would probably have got all those files. So there's hardly any point of using this. And right now, well, this is not very pleasing, this result. I hope they work on their signatures. Uh, if you're a cloud engine, you'd expect some decent signatures. That's something that they've not got at all. So I hope they improve their signatures and work on their product, at least the free one. I don't know how the paid one does, because right now it's certainly not meant for use. You can have it for fun, but it won't give you much of protection anyway. So I guess that's it for this review. This was just a prevention test and we ran about eight pieces of malware, so, or even more. And we kind of saw what Immunet did, nothing. So I guess that's it and goodbye and good day.